This is Jeannie Patel Thompson from listentoyourfreedom.com and you can see right at the top here these are the social media icons and when you click on each of them they're going to go to your account, your Facebook page, your Twitter page, your YouTube channel. Um, so I put this here for now. But what if you don't have a LinkedIn account? What if you don't use Flickr? Then you don't want these icons showing up. So we have to customize these a little bit. And as I said, we're also going to change the actual icon styles. So to do that, you need to go back to down here where you have the easy social icons, right? So that's how you manage there, it's gone here. So you can add icons, sort them, and then you have different options. So for here, this tells you where it's currently going because it's not set up to go anywhere yet, right? So let's start by editing this one. Let's start by doing the Facebook. So you click on edit. Now I have some icon sets that I've downloaded. So you click browse and I'm going to come here to my desktop. I have some social media icon sets and this is the one I really love. These are so cool. Look at those. They're like bottle tops. So they're really perfect for um, you know, a horse site. So that's what the Facebook looks like. I love, love, love that. So I just open that. Do when someone clicks on my Facebook icon do I want them to um, open it in a new window or open in the same window? If I click open new window, it means that when you click on my Facebook icon on my page, the Facebook site is going to open in a new window and you won't lose my site. That's what I want. If you were to click open in the same window, it would mean that when someone clicked your Facebook item icon, their screen would switch to your Facebook page and they would now be gone from your site. So you don't ever want to send people off your site. So any kind of link, you always want to open it in a new window. Okay, now this sort order says in the icons that are on here, which icon do I want to appear first? Do you want Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn? So I think I am going to, yeah, I'm good with it being first. Okay, now here's the Earl. And this is where you put in either your um, Facebook page or your profile. Now, I don't have a Facebook page for Listen to Your Horse yet. So, like I said, it's a brand new site. I'm just launching it. So, I am going to put in my personal Facebook page. And I'm actually going to check that that is my personal Facebook page because I'm not sure. Okay, so I come over here to Facebook, and my username is actually Jeannie P. Thompson. So I'm just, and it's an HTTPS. So always come to Facebook and actually grab the Earl from here. So we come back here. because See, that would have gone been wrong and gone to entirely the wrong place. Okay, so I've uploaded my new one. I want to call it Facebook. I've put my link to my Facebook. I've put the icon as being number one in the list, and yes, I want it to open in a new window so that I don't lose people from my site. And I click Save Changes. Okay, see, there it shows my new icon. Now let's go look at my blog page and see how it looks. Yay! Wow, that's really tiny. Hmm, I may have to make that bigger. Let's go to Options. Yeah, there we go. I can make it bigger. So if that's 32, geez, I don't know, let's say 45 by 45. And this icon margin is the gap between each icon and how many rows you want your icons to appear in and if you want them to appear horizontally or vertically up and down. So let's change that at 45. See, a lot of this stuff, like, I didn't know where that was. Just go through the stuff and, and search it out. You know, with, with internet stuff, you have to become comfortable with just try this, try that, and feel your way around. Oh, okay, that's better. I want it even bigger still. So let's go to, uh, let's go to 60 and see what that looks like. That's going to be pretty big, I think. Save changes, reload my page to have a look. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> we made these ones really big. But that's actually a good size for this one. And I'm going to be deleting all of those except for the YouTube. So I'm going to stick with that as my, as my widget size. So now I'm going to go back to managing my icons. And I have my new Facebook one set up. And now I don't want Twitter, so I'm going to delete it. And I wonder if there's a way to, because what if I want it later? Oh no, it's fine, because I have an option here to add icons if I want a new one later. And I don't want Flickr. And I don't want LinkedIn. Now I do have a YouTube channel. So let's go in and do that one, just so you have another way. So I'm gonna browse, come to my bottle, icons, there's my YouTube. Isn't that a great one? Loves a YouTube one. I open that up. Uh, now my YouTube URL is, and I'm going to type it here and then I'm going to go check it. So what's the URL for that? Oh, listen to your horse first and with the user in there. Okay. So this is the kind of stuff that will save you like, why isn't it working? Always check and double check yourself. Okay. Save changes. And there we go. Let's go to the blog, reload it. Ta-da! Doesn't that look awesome? I love those. So now when I click here, it's going to go to a new window. It's going to go straight to my channel. And see, I haven't lost my blog. It's still open there. So now I'm going to double check my Facebook. Goes to a new window. Yep, yeah, there we are. And we're all good to go.